Hi, Dr. Jen from Cairo Pier here, and today I want to wrap up this video series that I've been doing on what causes a subluxation. If you'll remember, a subluxation is when one of these spinal bones is misaligned in such a way that it is interfering with proper nerve impulses being sent over this nerve system to your body. This nerve is attached to organs and muscles and other tissues. Whatever other tissues are on the other end of this, they are not going to work properly. So your body's gonna be in a state of dysfunction when you have a subluxation. Subluxations are a bad thing, and they're quite common because subluxations are caused by your body's inability to adapt to environmental stressors. And there are three overarching categories of stressors. We've covered the first two already in previous videos. The first one is thoughts or emotional stressors. The second category is trauma or physical stressors. And the third category, which we're gonna to cover today, are what Dee Dee Palmer, the founder of chiropractic, referred to as toxins, which are chemical stressors. Now, chemical stressors, examples of that would be air pollution, the junk in the food that you eat. And my God, there is so much weird, nasty stuff that people put into their bodies that they call food that are really just chemical, pardon my language, but chemical shit storms. If you looked at the ingredient package on any packaged food that you eat, there's gonna be words that you can't pronounce. That's not food. Those are chemicals and those are likely toxins which are causing subluxations in your body. Now, some people have a hard time wrapping their head around, well, how could that stuff cause a bone to misalign in my body? And let's just take a step back. Those toxins, those chemicals, let's just go with, let's run with the food, for example. Think of the physiological changes that happen in your body from eating a bad diet. Literally every bad thing that you can think of from gaining weight to damaging your heart, stressing your liver, weird stuff to your stomach, all of your intestines, your digestive system can all change. People will get skin reactions from eating foods that don't agree with them. People can get muscle aches. If all of those physiological changes can happen, why can't they lead to or contribute to spinal bones misaligning? Of course they can. We don't just live in a vacuum where that stuff is just separated to our intestines and our internal organs. It, it's everywhere. It's a systemic thing that they have an impact on. So. We can't avoid every single chemical that's out there. Like, depending on where you live, you can't avoid the pollution, but we can make some better choices on what we put in our body. So if you want to try to reduce the odds of chemical stressors, creating further stress on your system, start there. But that wraps up the series on what causes a subluxation. That was the third T. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.